Hi, morning folks. We're going to go for a bit of a hack today, a GoPro hack. You know when you're always trying to find somewhere to put your GoPro or you forgot or your tripod and I ran over my last tripod. So I'm going to have a go at using this pretty strong one. So you need a strong one and you've got to find yourself a spare GoPro mount. Funny that, isn't it? Now it's right on the top. <laughs> so I want to fit this GoPro mount to this handle. So I'll take it that these rubbers just come off. This is new to me, I've not done this, you can tell I've not been used, so right. I think you can get these from any major store, DIY or like a Charlie's and whatever. So they just pop off. So I'm just gonna have a look. We might have to file that down a bit. Yep, so we have to file, so I bought a file. So I'm going to file this down level, and then what you might have to do as well is to file this a little bit more to get, so you want it flat and square, and then we'll go from there. So I'm going to file this down now just by using a standard file, and then I'm going to file that down a little bit, but I'll show you a bit as we go along. Okay, can you see that? I'm just going to keep going a bit more. That's in focus. All right, so I'm going to lap totally flat and I'm going to level off as well. Okay, so you know when you're flat, when you're so actually start filing the edges. So that's pretty flat there. So now what we've got to do is try to mount, not mount it yet, but so I'm going to take out probably see that about a quarter of an inch in in there so I'll probably start about there I don't want it too weak so I'll file that down so it's sort of flattish with that Ooh. okay I think that'll do so I'm gonna pop him on there like that and next I want to do I want to mark underneath where the holes are you can see that. So where these there's two holes, one there and one there. So I want to drill them just gently and mark them, or even just mark them now. And then what you've got to do, you've got to drill a hole through, a fine hole, and then you've got a countersink. Oh sorry, I'm out of picture. So you need to drill a hole through there and there. You can leave the sticky on if you want for now. And then I want to countersink, so I want to file that down, file that down a bit, and then you might not have to file that one. That one might just, I might do a bit more, yeah, there yet. Uh, and then what you want to do then, you've got to drill a hole, then you've got to countersink the hole because you need the screws, to, the screws to be level with the surface of this, otherwise you won't get your mount in. Okay. Okay, so I've gone back a bit further. It's not going to, it's, it's strong, it's not even, it's not even bending, so it's fine. But I want this to fit perfect, and you need quite a bit of a gap. I mean, you could probably get better clips than this. This is just what I found in the garage. There you go. So I'm going to mark it now, and then I'm going to drill it. And then I'll come back to you. Like I said, you're going to mark it. That's why I wanted to get that a bit more um, space so I can actually mark. Sorry. A bit more space so I can mark them. And then drill through. Then the odd bit is find two little screws. <laughs> Anyway, we'll get there. Okay, so I couldn't find anything to... So I just put two indents on the plastic. So I'm going to drill from this side just so it marks. And I might take the plastic off. We'll see. Fine drill. Now you've got to watch your fingers, okay? So if you're not very confident, don't do this. I'm only going to mark it. Sorry, you got focus. Just going to mark it. Well, I'll probably drop it in a vise and do it that way. Or I just won't show you doing it so I don't hurt myself. I actually did pop it on a hard surface, so that's why. So yeah, be safe. So that one's pretty well spot on. White ones, and then you've got to countersink them as well. Okay, just showing you that's what it looks like. So they should line up.
There you go. And you can see the hole lining up on that one, if you can see that. There we go. All right. Oh, wrong way. Countersink. Now you can do this. As long as you don't miss and hit the table, then the missus will kill you. You want to go down so enough so that the head is, is no way going to protrude over the top, so I'll go a bit more, yeah. Right. Now, you can either use tiny screws or tiny nuts and bolts, whatever you've got with a little washer. So I'm going to have a look what we got. I'll get back to you in a sec. Okay, I'm going to peel the glue off mine because it's only going to leave it. Uh, it's only going to get in the way when you, if you left it on, you peel this back. It's going to stick to you everywhere. So I'm just going to peel it off. Well, I found those two, which have got quite a big thread on it, which will be ideal to go through that and hook into that. So I'm going to make the hole slightly bigger. Now these you can get quite cheap anyway. So if you damage it, don't worry about it. It's only a bit of fun. So I need a corresponding drill to go through here to match. With not too much. I want a little bit. I want, to, I want it to bite a bit. Okay. Just going to use a slightly bigger one. Let's make it a little bit bigger. You don't want to split the plastic. Because it's very easy to split. Probably quite, quite a hard plastic. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to start him off, get myself a screwdriver. Just gently, just let it threads. Yeah, we should be all right with that. Let's give that a go. Okay. Right. Let's try. Just back one first, shall we? I might even have to countersink it a bit more yet, yeah, we'll see. Right, that's fine, and it works fine, but I've got to get it more... If you can see, I've got a bit of a gap. Can you see that? At the back. So you want it flush first. Right, and now I want it to bite straight away. Here we go. That's better. Right. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Am I lined up? Mm -hmm. I think I'm above it. I'm just going to have to drill that just slightly. Do you need a little bit? So I'm just going to drop the drill just in there. That's all. Right. Keep it tight. <clears throat> oh, that's tight. And there you go, really. Let's have a go in a minute. That means a little bit more. Just a fraction. 
don't want to too much so we don't want to split the casing okay next thing let's try a mount and what have we got oh sorry folks give me a second two seconds we find the mount okay do we in focus yeah Of course, you can have multiple choices now. You can turn it around, you can sideways, but you can always put your mounts whatever you want. Up, look, look at that. I mean, come on, that's only a. This is a hack. Look at that, tidy. Love it. I love doing stuff like this. It's slightly off center. I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about that. So, there you go. So, GoPro hack. Put it onto a clip, a springy clip, quite a good one. It's, I mean, it is a good, it'll hurt your finger. So it's a good, tight, springy clip. So it's like you're on your boat, uh, on a kayak, on your rod, something like that, you know. Anything, really. All right, thanks. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and a like. That would be great. That would be great because the channel does need a bit of that. I don't do Patreon and anything like that. I just do videos for fun. So if you liked it, just give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe if you would, subscribe button over there, anything coming up new over here, a couple over there, videos, and uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching, take care, see you in the next Sorry, one. Sorry folks, just a quick one, those two screws that I used to thread through, they're off um, a fan, off, you know the guards around a fan, that either on a PC or an old PC, uh, they're the little screws that hold the fan guard around the um, actual case or on a PC or around a PC or anything like that. Just good sort of any fan cards. That's all I can say. All right, take care.